welcome back to Barry tutorial uh, in the previous lecture we saw that uh, how to set up a Barry project how to install the prerequisites like node and yarn and in this tutorial we are going to see uh, how to run your project in your local machine using uh, Visual Studio uh, Visual Studio Code IDE so let's get started so first uh, as you have uh, installed node and the yarn package manager so we need to install the packages and once we install the packages we are going to run the project in uh, uh, using the Visual Studio Code so I'm going to open uh, Visual Studio Code here okay, I'm going to close all the things I'm going to get the latest code in my machine you can use any, any of your terminal. I'm using the Visual Studio Code terminal. You can use your machine's terminal and go to this root folder, which is by Material Ref, and just do a uh, yarn. If you're using yarn, then uh, do a yarn, else you can use the npm as well. The command to install the packages is the yarn, so just do yarn, hit enter. It will download all the packages in the system. As my system already have all those packages, it is very quick. But once, uh, if you are loading very, very first time, uh, all the packages will be installed in the node modules package. So you'll see it here itself. So packages has been installed. Now let's run the project using yarn start. So we're still starting. It will take time very first time and uh, this is the debug environment so it will take a little time once the debug, debug environment has been set up we'll see that how to uh, deploy the application in the production mode so as you can see uh, it says that your application is being loaded into local host 3000 if you click on this link yeah you will see the berry in action uh, it has been filled, so let me do a sign in. Yep, so you can play around with it. You can play with uh, entire thing, demo, and couple of things. So this is Barry in a development mode. Uh, you can check entire application. Now let's see how to uh, uh, how to do a build in production mode so I'm going to stop this yep it's being stopped now to deploy a production build there is just command yarn and then build it will create a script in uh, optimized script minified the javascript file and all the stuff it will also take a little time because optimization uh, is taking a place. But the once this is being done, uh, you will see uh, that you will see a build folder here if you can see there are just two uh, thing here once the build has been done you will see all the files which is needed to deploy the things so let's wait until the build has been complete yeah that's it as you can see the number of files and chunks has been generated here itself and the same has been reflected here itself in the build file you can consider um, this folder and just put in your production environment one thing uh, to take into the consideration you have to change the uh, home page url in two places one is the uh, home uh, package or json where the home page url for instance if you are going to load in your website which is uh, let's say example.com then you have to update it here secondly inside the source there is a config so you need to define your business 
so if you are not deploying it to any subdirectory you just need to pass a blank and if you have something like example.com and then uh, my app then you have to apply it my app here yeah so that's it uh, for this lecture see you in the next lecture bye bye